In my scrapbook, I have a pile of, of photos that I took of Bob and I and some newspaper clippings, and I'm just going to share them. This uh, Bob got a phone call, uh, Texas Chainsaw, I don't know which one it was, three, four, five, I don't know. They wanted a dead, they, sorry, I got hiccups. They wanted a dead dog. So one afternoon we made this dead dog. The teeth came from a joke and magic shop. Uh, half a mile from Bob's house. Also nearby, there was uh, a thrift store. We went in there and we found uh, a children's bowling pin set. They were all plastic bowling pins. And we also found this really ugly fur coat. It was blotches of different shades of brown all stuck together in one coat. It was really an ugly coat. So that ended up being the fur. The bowling pins he cut in half and used them to make the legs and the ribs and the head of the dog i think it was just rolled up newspaper and and bits of plastic bowling pins and um it took us all day and and it was kind of fun and i think it was in the movie i never bothered to look but he finished the thing up and put the whole thing in a giant box and shipped it out Louise was followed Bob all around the house. She always got in that in that workshop. Sometimes she got herself into trouble. Um, the one night she dropped, uh, she tipped over a can of paint thinner all over herself, and she was having trouble breathing. I called an emergency vet service, and they said there there's really there's nothing we can do. Just keep her really warm, and you know, wash her off as much as possible. Wash her off with like ivory soap and just keep her warm and, and she'll get over or, or there's nothing we can do. So that was a little scary. Uh, but the rest of the time, um, she was she was pretty good at not getting into trouble. But she was always following Bob around. See, he'd be doing the dishes and she'd climb up on the counter to get in his face and and talk to his face. What is that about? How does she even know that that's a face? I don't get it. But you can see she liked Bob a whole lot. Just trying to eat himself some, what is that, oatmeal? I don't remember what he ate. Muesli? Something. Uh, Eeyore's birthday party. Bob made this gigantic snake costume. He and I were in matching safari shirts. And both of us have, there's a fake arm. There's one arm wearing the, wearing gloves, and then there's a fake arm that's inside the snake. Bob's arm was the head of the snake. My real arm was the tail of the snake. And then there was a fake arm in the shirt that was holding the snake with gloves on it, so you couldn't tell. Well, it was sewn in. We wandered around Eeyore, scaring people with the stupid state. We had a good time. We didn't come in first place. I don't remember why. I think when they it came time for the, the awards, somebody asked yelled out, what's the name of the snake? And Bob said, Alger Hiss. And no one recognized the name Alger Hiss. And so the joke fell flat. And we didn't win. doesn't matter. We had a good time anyway, and that was the point. That was, uh, oh, Lord, he was writing a script for something nutty when I was there. He, he had this helmet that he put. Uh, an angel on top of that came from a, a, a Guatemalan thrift shop, something I don't even remember anymore. There was always one nutty project or another that he was building props for. That was his Trim Reaper costume. Hi, I'm the Trim Reaper. That was uh, a little tiny set that he made in the corner of a room. It's supposed to be a prison uh, warden's desk complete with the miniature electric chair desk lamp that is just horrible um, it was just one corner of the room the rest was rest of the room that all that that was all you needed and to have some things that look like books in the background yep just sitting at his desk reading reading some bills paying no attention to Louise this was his um, the the agency this was one of his the stock cards of his Images that they'd sent out. He really did look, could look like anybody. Um, that was the paper. What Bob liked was this clipping. Crowd seems cool at more mature bash for aging Eeyore. Bob saw that in the paper and just 
died. He was calling up everybody to make sure that we'd seen that in the paper. He's very pleased. Uh, that's it.